All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you an example of drawing a Bohr model. Thankfully, we're going to do it with the help of technology. So we're going to do it on these Google Slides. So I'm going to do um, the first two examples with you, and then you guys will do the rest on your own. So this is, number one, a review of Ape Man and also how to draw your Bohr models. So of course the first thing we need to do before we draw a Bohr model is determine our protons, our neutrons, and our electrons so we know how many of those electrons to fill in those energy rings. So we'll take a look at beryllium first. So beryllium is the atomic number four and it's got an atomic mass of 9.012. So let's go ahead and do our eight man first. So we're just gonna click into these boxes. So our atomic number is four, and A is equal to P, so our protons are always, are also four, and our electrons are also four. So we've got four as our atomic number, four protons in our nucleus, and four electrons. Next, we take our atomic mass. We're going to round 9.0, rounds to 9. Minus our atomic number is 4, because our atomic number is 4. And 9 minus 4 is going to give us 5 neutrons. So in our nucleus, we're going to have 4 protons and 5 neutrons. Okay, So 4 protons and 5 neutrons in our nucleus. Now. In the outer rings, we're going to fill our electrons, okay? So we're going to do that using these little orange guys right here. These are representing our electrons. Now, this is pretty simple. We just have to count the number of electrons and make sure they make them into the correct energy shells. Remember, we're only dealing with three energy levels here. So remember that energy, our first energy shell, gets two electrons. It has to be filled before we can go on to the second one, which gets eight. And then the third one also gets eight. So we, we're not going past eight here. We're not getting into the upper energy shells. We're just going to do some of the lower um, elements on the periodic table. So we have four electrons we need to fill. So I'm going to go ahead and start. You click on the orange and drag it to the correct energy level. So again, this first circle is going to be the first one, second, and third. Okay, so my first energy shell gets two. Okay, remember the highest he can get is two. So he's full, which means we can go on to energy shell number two. Now our total number of electrons needs to be four. I filled two in my first energy shell, which means my second energy shell needs two. So I'm going to drag two to that second energy level, okay? And that's it. There is our Bohr model of beryllium. So he's got two in his first shell, which is full, and he's got two in his second shell. He could fit six more, but we don't have six more electrons because his number of electrons is four. So one, two, three, four, and that is your Bohr model of beryllium. Perfect. Okay, let's do one that has um, a little bit more. We'll go ahead and do sodium. We'll do sodium together. So sodium is atomic number 11, and then its atomic mass, we're going to round to 23. So let's do our eight man. So our atomic number is 11, our protons are 11, and our electrons are also 11. Our mass, we're going to round to 23 because it's 22.99. We're going to round to a whole number. We're going to subtract our atomic number, which is 11, and that is going to give us 12. 12 neutrons. So we've got 12 neutrons and 11 protons in our nucleus, which gives us 23 as our mass. So we're going to do 11 protons and 12 neutrons. Okay, now we know we have 11 electrons, so we have to fill these 11 electrons into our energy shell. So let's just go ahead and start doing that. We know our first energy shell gets two. He's full, he can only get two. 
So now we're going to go to our second energy shell. So we know we're going to fill 8 in the second one because 8 plus 2 is 10, and we know we need 11 total. So we're going to add 8 to our second energy level because our second energy level only gets 8. And the way I do this is I like to pair them. So I go around with my four electrons first. So I'll do 1, 2, three, four, and then I'll go in and add my other four. Five, six, seven, eight. Put them down here. All right, so there I have eight electrons in my second energy shell, and he is full, because he the most he can hold is eight. So first energy shell holds two, second holds eight, and then our third one can also hold eight. So let's check and see how many electrons we're up to and how many more we need. So we need 11 electrons, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means we have one more electron to pair or to put in his energy shell, and I'll put him right up there. And that is your Bohr model of sodium. Okay, so remember to fill the shells, the lower shells, before going to your upper shells, and you should be golden. The number of orange dots, so the number of electrons, should be equal to the number that you calculate here. Okay, it's just going to be the number in your table, or at your atomic number that's in your element box. All right, so use those examples to help you answer the rest of the questions, and if you have any questions or concerns, definitely let me know.